guys this is Akash Patel I am going to show you today that how can you select the multiple rows from the table view and you can after selecting you can uh, put some operation on it like delete that particular rows from the table table view so let's get start here I have a view view controller with the text wheel and the add button and the delete button so whatever is written in the text field uh, uh, by clicking on the add button it will add to the table view and uh, after delete clicking on the delete button you can be able to delete particular rows so now we are going to add the table view you can put your table view as per your requirements okay now just give data source and delegate to the table view okay so let's take some outlets so this is text field this is button add and this is button delete okay so here we have two ns mutable arrays uh, which will be help in the particular project the array data will contain all the data to display in the table view and the array to delete will contains the data uh, from the table view that are about to delete that user selected from the table view so now uh, here I have five methods which are predefined to implement it uh, just written we are going to implement these five methods in the project so first is uh, first two are the requirement required method for the table view so just go for it the number numbers of rows in section so we are going to display those amount of rows which are in the array data so just to write down if array data dot count it is greater than zero then and only then return that count data dot count okay otherwise we are going to return zero okay that method is completed now cell for row index path ui table view cell Just provide the reusable identifier and if cell is equal to nil then we are going to initialize it in it with style UI table view style default and here we are going to provide the same reusable identifier as we have written above so just return the cell okay and now to display the data in the table view just uh, write down cell dot text label dot text is equal to any string string with format and here array data index part dot row which will display the data on the table view so now we are ready with that uh, table view coding now if any user uh, just uh, select their particular row of the index then we have to uh, put that uh, row data in the array to delete because user is selected that row user selects that row to delete the data so just go for it that array to data array to delete sorry array to delete add object Array data index path dot row which will this will return the index path of that selected row and the same if users uh, deselect that row after selecting that row user deselect that row uh, then we have to remove that particular data from the array to delete so array to delete remove object array data index part dot row okay 
uh, this is the editing style that what editing style will require for the uh, the operation so here we are going to return the number three uh, just uh, mark it that uh, if we return the number one then it will be provide the style for delete operation uh, individually uh, if we select the if we return the number two then it will provide the style with insert and if we return the number three then it will uh, provide the style with check marks and just uh, implement these two buttons now okay so after add button if user uh, clicks on the add button then whatever is written in the text field that should be add to the array data and it will be displayed to the table view so just write it down uh, self dot text field dot text uh, sorry we are going to provide this in the array so array data add object and we are going to provide the object as a text from the text field so now once the uh, data is to be added uh, we will reload the data of the table view that okay sorry we have not uh, created an outlet for the table view so we are going to do that okay self dot table view reload data and whatever is written in the text field it should be clear after clicking on the add button you can also write here self dot text field so working of the add button is uh, done let's check it out for it then after we will go for the delete button okay here is the table view here is our text field I'm just uh, typing the random string table view should reload the data sorry for the interruption but uh, something is not proper create data source and delegate are given just i'm not sure it will work on Okay, first of all let's initialize the array in view did load that ns mutable array alloc and init we have to initialize both the arrays okay i'll just check it out Okay, it's working so you can see that whatever I am typing in the text field it is going to display in the table view so now it is the add, add data part is done but I am clicking on the delete button it is left so now just change the ID to the UI button okay because we want to provide the action with the select selected method of the UI button part property so just uh, go for it that uh, sender dot selected is equal to not sender dot selected okay uh, you will come to know that why I have written this code in self dot my table view sorry table view 
set editing set editing with uh, animated okay set editing here we will put the sender dot selected and yes what will it do let's uh, check it out uh, you will come to know that what is it doing so now if i am adding data to the table view and after clicking to the delete button it will uh, bring the checkbox here so you can select and deselect this checkbox by selecting row and deselecting that row after clicking on the delete button again it will disable the checkbox so for that we have written this particular code here so now let's go for the delete operation so if any data is available in the array to delete then we should delete that particular data from the display so to delete the dis uh, data from the display we have to remove the object from the array data so array data remove uh, sorry we have if user selects the multiple data uh, then uh, it should remove all the multi all the selected data so we are going to the for loop and a string str in array to delete and delete the data from the array data which will uh, delete the data from the display of the table view so just uh, remove object and str and after that uh, delete operation we have to clear all the data from the array to delete so just uh, write down array to delete and uh, remove all objects and table view should reload the data in self dot table view reload data okay now just uh, check it out and uh, if you want the red color for the delete operation in the check marks then just uh, write it down here that uh, cell dot tint color is equal to ui color red color now just run it let's add some random strings to the table view to check out the operations okay now coming to the delete button we have red red color here for the check marks and just select some random strings okay so we have selected the five rows from the total eight rows so this uh, three rows should be here only and our uh, rem remaining five rows which we have selected that should be delete deleted after clicking on the delete button so now click on the delete button okay it's gone now you can also check it out so it's gone so this is how you can select uh, multiple rows from a uh, table view and you can put the delete operation on that uh, selected rows okay here we have the blank so you can also delete okay i hope you have learned something and it will help you in your project thank you so much uh, thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day